Here is on the rate and order of your reaction. For any reaction, the rate expression or the rate law equates the rate of the reaction to the product of its rate constant. And the concentration of the reactants are raised to certain exponential powers. The rate law for the equation and the power of the concentration terms involved in it must be determined by experiment only. You got the reaction A A plus B B gives the product. The overall rate expression can be determined or expressed as rate equal to K into A power P into B power Q. P is equal to A or less than A and Q is equal to B or less than B. Where K is the rate constant, P and Q are the exponents are also known as the orders with respect to the reactants A and B respectively. Rate and order of the reaction. Here is the rate. Rate is equal to K into A power P and B power Q. Therefore, the term order can be determined as the sum of the powers of the exponential powers P plus Q to which each concentration term is raised in the experimentally determined rate law of a chemical reaction. So rate equal to K into A power P into B power Q. So here these values P and Q are called the order of the reaction with respect to the reactants A and B respectively. The total order of the reaction is N is equal to P plus Q. So order with respect to A only P and order with respect to B only is Q. So it is found that the overall rate of the reaction depends on the exponential powers to which each concentration term is raised in the rate law. For example, for a reaction with a rate law as rate equal to K A square, when the concentration of A is doubled, the rate is increased by 4 times the initial rate. This is really an important one. Thus, chemical reactions and the overall rates are classified and studied according to the magnitude of the order of their reactions. So from the rate equation for the reactions, here is the overall reaction. I got hydrogen chromate mixed with iodine and hydrogen gives chromium ion, iodine and water. Over here, hydrogen chromate, the rate of order is 1 and for iodine it's 2 and for hydrogen ion is 2. So the overall order is 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5. Over here, I got my hydrogen peroxide with iodine and hydrogen. Over here, your hydrogen doesn't have any part here. Your hydrogen peroxide 1 and here 1. So the order is 2. This is how the rate and order of the reactions are.